Hi everyone, this is Peng. Welcome to my channel. Three months ago, this M15 R5 is really a bad choice when it just released in the market because of the high price, thermal issue, and the cutting GPU CUDA cores. Since then, Dell did some works trying to fix it through the BIOS and the drivers update. In this video, I will show you how to make the best tweaking for this laptop and the full review with the optimized setting. The configuration of this laptop is listing here. It is also my most recommended config for the M15 R5. Let me tell why. First, don't buy the R9 CPU option. Because of a weak CPU thermal cooling system, the R7 and R9 benchmark are almost identical in this platform. Also based on my gaming test, the CPU is very easy to reach above 93 degree and hit the thermal threshold with the default setting. So a higher operating frequency R9 could only make things even worse. Second, don't buy the GPU higher than the RTX 3060. For this laptop, the maximum power is unlocked to 125 watts with the latest BIOS. But it requires you to turn on the performance mode, which will come with a super loud fan noise. If you cannot tolerate the fan noise, the only option will be the balance mode. Then the GPU will be limited to 115 watts. Based on my gaming test, even with a 115 watts GPU, it is already reached to the maximum thermal capability of this platform. The area above the keyboard will reach to around 52 degree. A 130 watts thermal load 3070 can make the cooling system even stressful. Both of the memory and the SSD, you can change them by yourself. But as I mentioned in my last video, you need to buy an extra holder and a thermal pad for the second SSD which will cost you around 50 bucks. Okay, let's talk about tweaking the laptop. There are three steps. First, update the BIOS at least to 1.1 from Dell website and update the latest GPU driver from NVIDIA. Once you update the BIOS, you can reboot the system and get into it. In the advanced tab, you can find the next two tweakings. Disable the integrated GPU can boost the FPS in some games but you might keep it as it if you are a heavy user of Premiere Pro exporting videos. The GPU TCC offset is a function of adjusting the CPU thermal threshold. The default is zero with a temperature wall up to 100 degree. The positive number you are typing here means how much degree you want to lower the thermal threshold. Based on my investigation, 10 is a sweet spot that you can limit the GPU around 90 degree and not impact much for the performance. Here is the R23 benchmark test with different TCC offset. We can find with 10 you only lose around 2%, but with 15 you are going to lose around 10% performance. With the latest drivers and optimized settings, let's have a full review of this laptop. Start from the screen. The color gamma covers 99% of sRGB with a good color response, which is good enough for daily use and gaming. The maximum brightness is around 285 nits with an excellent contrast. It is fine for indoor use but not good for outdoor. The weakness of this screen is the brightness uniformity is really bad, so I cannot recommend this display for a content creator. The color accuracy is good, with an average delta of 1.74. Overall, this is a good screen for indoor use gaming. However, users should be aware of the brightness and uniformity. Let's check some performance tests. R23 is a benchmark for CPU rendering performance. The M15 R5 multi-core performance is really impressive. It is even slightly better than the R9 version. Compared with the M15 R6, which equips an Intel 11 Gen i7 processor, R5 performs a much better result. I don't think Dell gives the full power for the M15 R6, since based on my review of 2021 HP Almond 17, the full power 11 Gen i7 should hit around 14,000 with a 96 watts power. For the single core performance, we can see the R6 comes back, but R5 doesn't behind much. That proves my thought that the maximum CPU power capability of this M15 platform is around 54 watts. Overall, this R7 version M15 R5 gives a pretty decent CPU performance. 3 d Mark x Spy is a benchmark for GPU performance. 
This RTX 3060 performs a very good score. It is not far from the best in class full power 3060 Legend 5 Pro. Compared with my Omen 17, it is around 18% behind the full power best in class 3070 laptop. Let's have some gaming tests. The 3070 Omen 17 will be a reference. First game, Dota 2. The result shocked me. With the same setting, the M15R5 only left around 10 frames from Omen 17. The 1% low frame rate are even closer. The status monitor shows these two machines are using a different strategy. The M15R5 is running at a much higher GPU core frequency and power usage. With this more aggressive GPU setting, R5 is around 7 degrees hotter. For CPU, it is turned around. R5 is running at a lower frequency and a lower power usage, but the problem is temperature. Even though turning on the performance mode can release a thermal issue, but as I mentioned before, the fan noise is super loud. I hope Dell can make some updates later to give a more balanced option. In Battlefield 5, there is a significant frame rate difference between these two machines, but if you compare the same configuration laptop, M15R5 gets a pretty reasonable result. Similar things for the RDR2, M15R5 has a large gap to the 11 gens Intel Plus 3070, but it is in the first tier of the AMD Plus 3060 laptops. In Cyberpunk, this machine gives me a surprise. With the ray tracing on, it only 16 frames behind the Omen 17. In a summary, in all four games, we can find a similar behavior that the M15R5 can run at a high GPU call frequency. But the same issue is the CPU needs a more powerful cooling with the balanced mode. For the thermal performance, it is hard to have a conclusion, since the balanced mode and the performance mode are showing totally different behavior. The hottest zone can drop around 10 degrees with the performance mode turned on. But as I mentioned before, the fan noise is very loud. I personally cannot tolerate that. So, I always set this laptop at balanced mode and using an external keyboard for gaming. This in-stock 256GB SSD testing speed is low. It might be better with a larger space. At the same time, I found this SSD has an overheat issue. When you copy a large file, the SSD temperature will increase to around 80 degrees in 30 seconds. Once it hit the thermal threshold, the speed will drop dramatically. The stock memory is a single rank with 16 banks with a high delay. You can upgrade it to a low density RAM for better gaming FPS. SpecView Perf is a benchmark test for industry 3D modeling performance. M15R5 is in the first tier of the AMD R7 Plus 3060 laptops. The benchmark test results for Premiere Pro is also good with this configuration. As I mentioned before, you can boost the exporting speed by enabling the integrated graphic cards. The mining speed can reach to around 46 with 125 watts with this setting. The number is good, but the performance mode fan noise is very loud. The laptop battery life is tested by the PC Mark 8. For home use like email, watching video, and slightly media editing, the battery could last around 2 hours and 45 minutes. It's time to have a summary and a points review score now. The AMD R7 and Nvidia RTX 3060 combination almost perform their best performance in this platform. Also, I think this is the best config for buying of this year's M15 series. The screen has a good color coverage, refresh rate, and response time, but the brightness and uniformity are just acceptable. The SSD speed is not good and it has a serious overheat issue when read and write a large file. Thermal and the noise are fighting together of this laptop. It needs a more smart fan controlling system. The gaming IPS and the content creation are both good for this configuration. This year's laptop powered by AMD CPU performed a better battery efficiency comparing with Intel's 10 gen and 11 gen CPU. If you are sensitive with this, M5 could be a better choice than R6. Overall, I think this is a good laptop 3 months after it just released. But don't buy it at the MSRP price, since with that price you can have many better choices. I got this laptop at around 1200 bucks. I'm happy with it. That's it for this M15R5. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like my videos. I will have more tech reviews later. See you next time.